I had a mental breakdown, for sure, and I didn't see a return point. The only place I ever thought I'd end up is in a padded room somewhere. And that's pretty much where I 100% thought I was going. Um, it doesn't get really any wor much worse than wh where I was in my life at that moment. Um, nothing mattered anymore. Boxing, families. When you lose the passion to want, and I mean want to live, want to breathe, want to eat, then you're in a pretty dark place. Mm. When you're hearing voices in your mind, clear as day as we're speaking to each other now, then I'd say you're in a pretty dark place and attempting suicide, you can only go one more step than that and that's finalising suicide. So for me to be sat here today, speaking to all these people, doing something for mental health is very big for me. Yeah. Very big because at that stage, I didn't see a return point. Yeah. There was no return. I was abandoned in a desert of darkness and every day I woke up was a sad day. Every day I woke up would be grey and I just didn't want to live anymore. And as I say, I think that's why people see the story and they feel, you know, so passionate or they have so many different emotions about it when they see you and they want to come up to you and speak to you. But just based on that, what you just said there, you know, if, they, if there's someone struggling watching this, and I know everybody's mental health journey is different, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's hard to give blanket advice, but, you know, what would you say to somebody? I would say the first thing I would say from my experience, and I've had a lot of experience because... I've been suffering this since being a little kid. And I only realised that until when I got to like 27, 28 years old that I had a problem. First of all, it's acceptance that you have a problem. Second of all is go and seek medical advice immediately. Because you can speak to some people about stuff. If I speak to a random person in the street about how to build a skyscraper, it's probably not going to be the right advice, is it? So go and speak to a medical professional about it straight away and that's the mistake I made is one I didn't know I had a problem for years because I was in denial about it all I thought like everyone feels like there's ups and downs and whatever and then two I didn't have anybody to speak to about it nobody I knew understood it or really it was more of a I looked upon thing at the time like oh, like an attention seeking thing they thought I was attention seeking so my regret would be not going 20 years before I did so the sooner you go to get your medical help, the sooner you can return to being well again. And then after that, you can start to rebuild your life. Yeah.